Excellent. You mentioned Brett Gardner earlier, and you've said multiple times in the past how much you value him as a teammate and somebody that's helped you develop at this level. What do you think it is about him that has been such a, a strength towards you, a, a voice that you were able to listen to and really um, implement some of the things that he's told you? I think where it starts, uh, I think where the first thought goes with Brett is how he handled going about a young guy coming in that plays the same position as him and was vocal about wanting to win that job and, and just how he treated me still knowing that it's it's a competition but it's his job to lose and other guys are trying to take it and he he went about it in such a positive way that I felt like it was such a, like a like a big brother, little brother relationship, you know, because he's he's obviously done a really good job at maintaining that position for so long with, you know, a lot of really good teams in the past. And, and he's such a good teammate. He's such a jokester. Like, he, he's a little kid. I swear he's more immature than I am. But it's, uh, it's, it's just he makes you feel comfortable. He makes everyone around him better. And I don't think there was one person that wasn't excited whenever they saw that Brett was coming back. And I think that... I was probably at the top of the list because there is still things that he can teach me as a player and teach me as a man moving forward that I can incorporate in my everyday life and, and, and in baseball. Does the relationship change at all now, Clint, that it looks like you're going to be the starting left fielder? Um, I don't think so. I haven't actually shagged with him and left yet. So uh, I'll, I'll crack a few jokes at him, but, you know, hopefully now that – things are different, I can just keep my turtleneck moving forward and he can go find his own because I think now I deserve it. Thanks,